Okay, good afternoon, elite class. Ready for lesson six. Let's do our bowing. Face the flags, chariot. Kuke Kinye. Be, Be honest. Always stand for justice. Respect and help each other. Be loyal and courteous. All right. How's everybody doing today? Good? Okay. So Alex is right here in the middle. We're going to stay in place. When I say go, we're going to start running in place. When I clap my hands, jump up as high as you can. Ready and go. Reach up for the sky. Make sure those hands reach up. Big yep, I can't hear you. There we go. All right, time. Push up, Juby. Ready? Shia. Okay, what we're going to do is we're just going to do 10 push ups today, Elite Class. But what we're going to do is we're going to do one push up, and when you come up, touch your shoulder. Go back down, push up, touch your other shoulder. We're just doing it 10 times. Back up, Alex, so they can see you. We're doing push ups with shoulder taps. Not just shoulder taps, push ups with shoulder taps. Okay, ready? Up in push up position. Ready? One. And touch your shoulder. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Very good job. Everybody stand up. We're going to do squat kicks. We're only doing 10, but we're doing squat jump kicks. Okay, so make them good kicks. Ready, start down low. Ready, one. Make sure you're alternating legs. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Okay. Feet this way, Alexander. We're going to lay down. Okay. Everybody, all that we're going to do is we're going to do a Iron Man. That's where we're going to pick up our feet, point to our toes, and we're going to hold an Iron Man for a count of 15. 15. Okay. Nice, strong Iron Man. Don't lay back like a turtle. Don't fall to the side. Stay nice and strong. Okay. Ready? Up. One. Two, two, three, three four, four, five, five six, six, seven, seven eight, eight, nine, nine ten, ten, eleven, eleven twelve, twelve, thirteen, thirteen fourteen, fourteen, fourteen and a half. 14 and a quarter, 14 and an eighth, 14 and a sixteenth, and down. Good job. Who touched? Did you stay up the entire time? Okay, good job. Okay, next. Last one we're going to do. We're just going to do windmills. Feet toward them, Alex. Okay. We're going to start facing this way, everybody. All that we're doing is alternating windmills. We're going to do it exactly 16 times. 16, that's a magic number. Everybody up in your windmill, face the mirror. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, straight leg, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. Good job, everybody stand up. 
All right. Today, we're going to be continuing our creative form training, all right, with our creative form practicing. Who's been practicing at home with your creative form? Well, the proof is going to be in the pudding. When we get back on the mat, I expect not to reteach creative form from the beginning because we've been training hard at home, okay? Now, there's a handful of students who aren't doing any training at all, and you're going to be really far behind when we come back on the mat. A lot of the students are going to be receiving their tips automatically, okay? Some of you are going to get no tips when you come back because you're not continuing with your training. All right, so it's important that you continue your training at home. All right, everybody, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take our water break. But before you do that, when you come back, you need to make some sort of box on the ground. Now, you can use painter's tape and stick it down on the ground. That way it, does, it comes right up. Or, I don't know, your toys or something. Something to make a box because you're going to need some sort of box to be in to do our lessons today. Okay? So, hit pause. Okay, hit stop. Rip a sip of water. Come back. Make yourself a box, okay? Alex, bring your box out. Let me put it right here. Okay. So Alex is just using some of the tiles that we have here at Pride, and that's how we're making the box for him. Okay, so again, this box, okay, it just needs to be maybe like a two and a half by two and a half foot box. It doesn't have to be exact, okay, but you need a, a just a, not a tiny box, not like one of these squares, but look how we put four of the squares together, okay? So this is plenty of room. This is enough if I open up my feet in a stance, I'm still in the box, okay? I don't want to be in a tiny box like this. This doesn't work, so I need to make myself a bigger box. Now, not a gigantic box like my box here at Matt on, at Pride, but just enough box so it's a nice square box, okay? Everybody understand? Okay, Alex, hop in. Now, what we're coming off of our last class, when we came off our last class with execution, we were breaking our form up into combinations. Okay, tonight we're working on reflex, and reflex is just the way that your body reacts naturally to something. Okay, we always do the example, you blink automatically. Okay, whoop, see that? He blinked his eyes. All right, same thing goes with our training. We want to be on autopilot. Okay, so when you're doing your creative form, you are not thinking just of the next step. Okay, so you make that high block punch, and then you're like, uh, uh, what, what do I do next? No, you want to be on autopilot, so it's a reflex. It's a reflex. You want this on all of your forms, but especially when we're practicing training creative forms. So tonight, you're going to be doing all of your creative forms inside the box. Inside the box. Okay? So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to call out one of the combinations. For example, if I call out the number three, okay, that's high block punch. Now. Inside the box means I'm going to call out the combination, like for example, number three, and then I'm either going to tell you a block or a strike that you're going to put at the end of it. And that block or strike, I want a big gee up. Okay, so for example, if I say number three, high block. Ready? Go! Oh. Okay. If I say number one, punch. Ready? Go! Oh. Okay. That's how we're playing this game. That's how we're doing this drill. Okay? You okay? There you go. All right. All right. So, follow after us. Okay? Ready. Six. Knife hand strike. Ready? Go. Up. All right. Fix your box. You're spinning around like disco time. Okay. Here we go. Ready. Two, middle block, inside middle block. Two, inside middle block. Ready, go. Top. Good. Ready. Four, tiger's mouth. Ready, go. Top. Okay. Ready. Five. Low block. Ready, go. Stay in your box. Oh. There you go. I said low block, not middle block. All right, we got Alex on that one. Okay, did you get it right? Okay, ready. Seven, palm heel strike. Seven, palm heel strike. 
Ready, go. Okay, ready. Eight, elbow strike. Eight, elbow strike. Ready, go. Uh. That was an easy one, right? Ready, one. Ridge hand, one, ridge hand. Some of you are saying right now, saying, what's a ridge hand? Alex, show me a ridge hand. No, that's knife hand. Ridge hand is this part of your hand right here. This is your ridge. This is my ridge. My ridge hand is right here. Okay, one ridge hand. Ready, go. There you go. Okay, these different strikes and blocks are ones that you can actually put into your form. Okay, ready. Three, knife hand, middle section. Ready, go. Knife hand, middle section. There you go. Okay, last one. Here we go. Ready. Seven. Spear hand. Ready, go. Okay. Now remember, you don't have to do the downward block for spear hand. You can just make spear, okay? I don't have to do downward block and then make the spear, downward palm block, no, I can just go and make spear hand, all right? So after you make that last punch, and then spear, okay? All right, chariot, Kenye. Okay, grab some water, hit pause, come back, and start the second part of our lesson. Back to your box. Back to your box. Okay. Now, the same thing. This drill is called stay in your box. Okay. I'm going to start out with the combinations. We're going to go one through eight. One through eight with our combinations, staying in our box. So that means even after what you're going to do, you're going to actually have to change. You're going to have to change your stance. Okay, so when you go to two, when you go to three, when you go to four, same thing. You're going to have to turn and change in the same box. So you're not going to be moving forward. You're just going to be hopping, changing stances inside your box. <clears throat> Ready. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, borrow, Kenye. Yeah, you fix your box. Okay, so again, what we want to do is we're going to make that combination while staying in the box. Now, for some of you, you got that on the first time. Some of you are going to have to do it two or three times so you, get it, so you get it right. This is really going to help you make sure that you learn your combinations. Okay, so now we're going to do it one more time, and I'm going to start calling the numbers out of order. Out of order. So stand in the middle of your box. Ready. Three. Six. Five. Two. Four. One. Eight. Good job, borrow. Nice job. Okay, catch your breath for one more second. We're gonna do it one more time. One more time, okay? So this is easy to practice at home. If you have a sibling, an aunt and uncle, mom and dad helping you out, stay inside your box and just let them call out numbers, okay? This is an easy way to make sure that you remember your form. Okay, one more time through. Sporadic numbers. Ready, seven. Three. Five.
One, four, two, eight, borrow, Kinye. All right, great job, everybody. Okay, so if you look in the file section, you look for what we're doing, and we're doing our elite training for creative forms. For testing, for our reflex, we are doing creative forms one through five in the box. Now, we went up another level. We went all the way to eight in the box, okay? Because what do we do here? We do things better, okay? But for testing, we're doing one through five in the box. That's all the way to your jump high stretching kick, front kick, pop front kick, okay? So for test time, so literally, I'll just be giving out a competition. We're gonna have a box on the mat. You hop into the box on the mat during the test. I'll probably have two or three boxes made up for the test. All right, you'll hop into the box and I'll call out the number. Five, you'll do five. Two, you'll make two. One, you'll make one, okay? Who knows, probably we'll go all the way up to number eight with us at Pride, okay? Maybe I'll call out eight, seven, six. Okay, we need to know more than one through five. We can do the entire thing, okay? Now, quick question, who's been, you can put that off to the side, Alex. Okay, who's been practicing the form? On the last class, we went and we showed you uh, one through nine, one through nine, okay? Number nine takes a little bit of time, a little bit of practice, okay, to do those three kicks, okay? So coming up in more of our classes, we're gonna be practicing more of the kicking combinations, okay? But right now what we're doing is we're practicing our form. Also, I also wanna start practicing my ending, my creative form ending. The easiest thing for you to do is jot it down. Get a piece of paper and write down some ideas, okay? We know that there's some movements, some blocks and strikes and kicks that go together. There's some that kind of fumble through and they don't feel right, okay? Write it out on paper first. Walk it through. Talk it over with somebody. Talk it over with mom. Talk it over with dad, okay? If you have a, if you have a sibling, talk it over with your sibling. See, say, hey, watch this. Does this look cool? Does this look good? Okay? So when you come back, you'll know your entire creative form, one through 10. One through nine, and your 10 being your ending, okay? So just because we finished this lesson of doing everything in the box doesn't mean your lesson's over. Now's your time to start practicing your form at home. Do one through nine, and then start going to 10, practicing the ending. Let's start doing the whole thing together. We're already on lesson six today, okay? Finish up your entire thing so you are done. I've had some students asking, wanting to go all the way to 15. Possibly. Remember how we're gonna run this. We're gonna run this as a competition. So when we test creative form at Pride, we're gonna have a award for best elite and award for best black belt. Okay? He says that's him. Okay, we'll see what happens. He's practicing a lot. All right, this guy's doing eight classes a day. Let's see what you guys can do. Okay, so bar's been raised. We're setting the, we're setting the tone here. All right, practice at home. Okay, great job elite class. Let's bow out. Face the flags. Chariot. Kuke Kinye. Okay, if your moms or dads are there watching you, face your parents. Chariot Kinye. All right, Pride Elite Class. Keep up the great work. Can't wait to see you on the mats.